Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today I will be sharing my most recent favorites with you guys so I've primarily been doing hits and misses videos um, I haven't been shopping too much as you all may have seen since I typically do unboxings um, so all I really have is favorites so let's do a favorites video and I want to start off with um, the Star Wars books so I started collecting these this summer and have really gotten into them they are just so good if you like Star Wars, I was kind of nervous on getting into it because I feel like it would have been hard to keep up with. I don't I don't know. I was just kind of hesitant. And I'm really glad that I um, started reading them because I absolutely love them. And so I have my little collection on the bookshelf, um, but definitely have just loved reading for fun. And I'm starting another little collection. So that was the first item on the list. We have my Louis Vuitton Montserrat PM backpack. So I upgraded my Louis Vuitton BB into this one. You can fit so many items. I'll have a what's in my bag slash updated review video soon on this, but absolutely loving it. It is my most used bag. So my BB was definitely my most used. And this now, like, there's no competition because it can fit more. Typically, the only time that I needed to move out of my BB was when I needed more room. So I had to grab a tote or um, if I was going out and I needed a different style bag. Now that I can fit everything in here, the only time that I really move out of it is if I'm like, I need to bring my laptop with. But for every day, I've been using this one. I've been using it to travel and just absolutely love it. In addition to the Monterey BB, I have my um, Charms card holder from Louis Vuitton and the Black on Priant. I absolutely love this. I got this this summer and I just wanted a black card holder. I like that this one's different. I love the Charms. I just think it adds like something extra. Um, but I knew I wanted to get the Empreant eventually, and so I just purchased this first. I ha still have my eye on the key pouch. But yeah, I've loved this for travel and just like on the go. If I like, these are the primary cards that I use. Um, so I typically don't use my Chanel card holder unless I need more cards, like store cards or like my insurance cards. But we have this. Pink is no surprise. I have been loving the Louis Vuitton agenda refills. So I purchased the 2024 ones like the moment I could pre order them from my SA and I set them up um, early. Like I moved into these early. I love the designs. I love how they look. I have really loved how I incorporated them in the. Um, in my agenda. It's just so simple, but I just love it. So um, I have these that I've been using for right now. Um, Louis Vuitton also had the 2021s for the medium ring and I tried out a new style and again just really just loving these different like style inserts and they're not too different than what I typically use. I don't I really don't know what it is. I think I just love the designs element too. Um I don't know, I just think they're really pretty, but I love like the way the paper feels as well. It's like so soft and so maybe that's it. I I don't know, but I've just been loving the structure of the layout all of these. I also have my PM agenda in my bag, which I forgot to grab when I filmed that first clip, but um, I've been loving the inserts and they work so perfectly. So definitely, um, one of my favorite purchases recently are these agenda refills. All right. And then I know I've shared some Chanel hauls on Instagram, TikTok, and I even did like the color code launch with the, um, classic pouch on YouTube. So following up with some of the orders, uh, definitely, haven't had a miss from Chanel. I don't ever really do. I, do. I just think all the products suit my skin pretty well um, when it comes to like cleansers and primers and eyeshadows. I just love them. And then I just love their accessories. So this is the brush holder and it came with three brushes. I added some additional. It's been great to travel with. I also got the matching nail file. I just love like the vintage interior Chanel color, um, which is why I picked this one. Um, what I also like is that this fits inside of the pouch. And then here you can see that they are 
the same color. This is slightly lighter, but definitely, um, just, you know, you can definitely tell the color that it's styled after. Um, and then here's the matching mirror. This is definitely like a match, like a full match, but it's just their regular uh, mirror in here. And then I have like different bobby pins and hair ties in here. But really loving these for traveling. It's just so nice to have them. I love the pouch. It's just, it's the perfect size and it was what I needed. Um, as for makeup, so this is the new holiday pouch. I don't know if it's online yet. As I film this, it's currently not online. Um, if it is available, I'll have it linked below. If not, I'll put it on my LTK whenever it's available. But I love the holiday pouch, or holiday pouch, holiday um, palette. It's just so pretty. I'm going to take this with on my upcoming trips since we'll be going to a few dinners. I think it's just a nice night palette. I also got the new lip balm, which again, really gorgeous color. And I think it just goes really well with especially that second color it's definitely going to be a look so i have those two i also picked up the blurry blue yeah blurry blue palette i'm trying to collect one of every chanel palette and i'm pretty close i think i have like 25 maybe 30 um but this is for football season so we have that blue and the gray for Dallas Cowboys, which matches perfectly. So I'm happy to add this to the collection and use it during football season. And then these came out, I think in between the code, color codes and then the new holiday. So these are eyeshadow, um, just like eyeshadows. And so I love the colors. They're so pretty. I like how compact they kind of are. Um, and that you can like take it with you on the go if you need like a touch up and going out. But they also just look so good together. And they're just so pretty. So have those. There's a little swatch. So I wanted to follow up on Rare Beauty because I've loved it. And I said I would do an update as someone who doesn't like... Um, foundation um i don't use blush i don't use foundation i i don't know, I just personally feel like it's too heavy um i don't like having like that feeling on my face and so most days i still don't wear it like every day but when i go out um i think i'll probably wear it more when it's cooler in the summer i just can't wear anything like i don't care what my face looks like it's too hot i live in texas it's too hot um I did wear it for like school when I was in Oregon and probably take it with to Chicago, but um, I've been using the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. If you go to Sephora, they can face match you and it's perfect. Like it was absolutely um, a perfect match. I think it looks great. I like that it hides like the uneven tones, um, but you just don't feel it on you. And to me, that's what's most important. I, I just don't like feeling something on my face. And so... I feel like this is the perfect uh, moisturizer. I wanted the tinted moisturizer because I just always put moisturizer on my face and then I figured why not just try it. I've heard so many great things about it and so I have really liked it. So I have the tinted moisturizer. I also got the um, diffusing primer to go with it. This is I believe the concealer. And then we also have the eye brightener, which I really love the eye brightener. Um, and they, if you go on the Sephora website, they like tell you what to use based on your like skin shade. Um, so all of these together really light on your face. I don't travel with this one. I like the Chanel base better. I don't know why. I just, again, it's lighter for me. And so um, I've been using this one from chanel instead this is the one that i used before it from dior um i don't like this one either there's like a slight i think tint to it but i definitely prefer the chanel one again the chanel products i feel like just work better on my face um, i know a lot of people it's like hit or miss but these are my like favorite face products whenever i whenever i use them so yeah, I have all, the, I've been storing all this in here when I don't use this for travel. So I have all of that. And then that's a little makeup update as well as um, just general favorites that I've been enjoying. 
And I think other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. off the video we have my all-time favorite of all time Mira no I'm not including her in the video but she definitely just wanted some pets um really starting off the video 